Ann Lurie, well-known Chicago philanthropist, died at 79 this morning due to complications from a recent illness, according to a spokesperson from her family. Lurie was well-known for being hands-on, active in all of the projects she supported. CBS 2's Tara Molina shows us the huge impact she made on Chicago. You probably know philanthropist Ann Lurie's name because it's on a children's hospital. But the legacy she leaves behind is even bigger, not just here, but across the world. Gilda's Club Chicago is just one example. We treat the whole family, and she really understood the need for that like no one I've ever, I've ever met. Ann Lurie's name isn't on the signature red door at Gilda's Club Chicago but it's on the hearts of the tens of thousands they've helped in their 27 years here. Gildas Club Chicago wouldn't exist were it not Fran Laurie. That's CEO Laura Jane Hyde. That's so funny, I forgot to laugh. Named after comedian Gilda Radner, Gilda's Club provides a community of social and emotional support to anyone impacted by cancer, like Ann Lurie was. She had lost her husband at a young age with six children and said, why don't we have something like this in the city? and 18 months later reopened. So this was kind of the, the birth of, of something that I knew was, would go on to be something important. It makes me feel very proud. Lurie was the only child of a single mom. She received a nursing degree from the University of Florida and eventually moved to Chicago where she worked as a pediatric intensive care nurse at Children's Memorial Hospital in the 70s a hospital that would one day relocate and bear her name following an unprecedented $100 million gift. I remember a lot of the children that were in that unit. That's Ann Lurie at that announcement in 2007. I see this donation as making an investment in the future of Chicago's children. It's one of a long list of investments Lurie made to schools, hospitals, and more, including the Robert H. Lurie Cancer Center at Northwestern Hospital, where her husband had undergone treatment. Her dedication to Northwestern continued the rest of her life. Founding clinics in Africa, she worked across China and Nepal. She established professorships, scholarships, and permanent endowments across the city. Now we have lost an icon. So while Ann Lurie's name lives on across Chicago, her true legacy, the lives she touched in her 79 years, it's immeasurable. For CBS2, I'm Tara Molina.